Good morning, Willard Wildcats. Happy Wednesday, June 2nd. Today, we're gonna read off and celebrate all the June birthdays. And on Thursday, we'll celebrate all the July and beginning of August birthdays. So here it goes. Happy birthday today and in the month of June to Joseph A, Jocelyn R G, Juliet M, Alani A, Emily V, Ryan F, Natalie G, Nathan G, Jesus O S, Ian P, Et Malhar P, Alexander I A. Pardon me, Alexander I R, Kisas S K, Sarai M. Aaron P, Sarah Q, Mason S, Brandon C, Giselle D R, Ella D, Alayla L, Robert T, Roman C, Gael G, Evan D, Annalie Annalie B, Daniel C, Juan D L T. Paulina M, Aubrey R J, Xavier Y, Casey A O, Ivy J, Melanie R A, Marley V, Alani H, Zabe O, Ayana P, Jocelyn H, Kyle Z, Thiago Z, Madeline P. Isaiah T, Lucas L, Ashley L P, Manuel O, Anthony R. Happy bir June birthdays to all of those wildcats. We celebrate you. Today we're going to read a book called The Circles Around Us. It's written by Brad Montague. The teachers and I have been reading a book for adults about Brad, by Brad Montague, talking to us about how we can better talk to children. It's a really, really lovely book. So I'm excited to share this book that's written for children with you today by Brad Montague. It's illustrated by Brad and Christy Montague. Circles all around us. We begin by drawing a circle on the ground along each shoe. <laughs> A safe little circle for just one person. Nobody in this circle but you. You could keep that circle closed if at, to everyone but yourself, dot, dot, dot. But that would be like a library with just one book on the shelf. Kind of reminds you of being IB and being open-minded, doesn't it? So let's draw a bigger circle for you and your family to share. Now you see what all can happen in a circle full of care. Important to trust those people in your family and allow them in your circle, right? That's what the author's trying to explain. So here are the people in the author's circle. New cousin, great granny and her cats, Granny Dot and Papa Bit, Uncle Hank and Barkley, and there's some cats, Gizmo and Buttons. It becomes a happier circle as more loved ones come to stay. And wouldn't it be even better if all your friends could come and play? So do you think we would add them to another circle? Like the rings of a tree? So you stretch and draw your circle even bigger than it's been and let a few more people know they're welcome to come in. And all the, in the circles all around us, everywhere that we go, there's a difference we can make and the love we can all show. Look at all these greetings. Yet there are still so many outside the circle who are different, who are different in all they do, though it feels slightly uncomfortable. We draw a bigger circle for them too. 
It doesn't mean the circle is easy. It can get harder the more we share. I only like singing. I only like sports. I only wear dresses. I like old comfy shorts. I'll, I'm team cake. I'm team pie. I'm really outgoing. I'm really quite shy. But wonderful things can happen when love is known and felt everywhere. Friendship donuts. As time passes, our eyes open, we see others we really care for. And that's when we ask ourselves, well, what's the circle really there for? What do you think the answer to that is? So let us create bigger circles all around us for the rest of our days. Let our caring ripple out in a million little ways. That's very IB, isn't it? Caring is a part of being an IB student. And all the circles all around us, everywhere that we go, there's a difference we can make and the love we can all show. As our circle, as our circles grow and grow, we can watch them wonder-eyed Remember the first circle started with just the love you hold inside. Wildcats, I hope you enjoyed today's book. Remember we are safe, respectful, and responsible. And I want you to think about who is in your first circle and who you are wrapping around and including beyond that. Have a wonderful day.